For this problem, we need to determine whether the matrix A is diagonalizable. That's a difficult, difficult word to say. Um, and if so, we need to find a matrix E and a diagonal matrix D so that we have this relation, E inverse times the original matrix A times E is equal to that diagonal matrix D. Okay, we have a method for going about this and it involves finding eigenvectors and uh, eigenvalues and putting them all together. So the first thing we need to know is that if we find uh, eigenvalues for this matrix, uh, if they are distinct, like if they are not the same value, um, then it is indeed diagonalizable. So let's do that first. Uh, we need to look at the matrix A minus lambda I and find the determinant of it. So we're gonna find the determinant of four minus lambda minus two, one and one minus lambda. And that's going to be equal to four minus lambda times oops, times one minus lambda minus uh, minus two. Okay, foil that out. Four minus four lambda minus lambda plus lambda squared plus two. That's going to be equal to lambda squared minus five lambda plus six. Luckily, this is uh, easy to factor. That's lambda minus two times lambda minus three. And that will give us lambda one is equal to two. Lambda two equals three. Cool. Uh, they are distinct, they're not the same number. So that means that this matrix is indeed that word. Um, so the way that we get uh, the matrix D, if you remember, we just have a diagonal matrix where these are along the diagonal. So like it would be two, zero, zero, three. Um, and our matrix E we're gonna get by using the eigenvectors. Um, so let's find that first and then we're gonna write our final answer down at the bottom. Um, We'll start with lambda one. Uh, finding vector one, really, so I'll, I'll write v1. We plug in lambda one for the lambdas here. So I'm gonna have two equal to lambda. So four minus two is two, negative two, one. One minus two is minus one. And now we can easily see that these are multiples of each other and that will just simplify to the matrix one minus one, zero, zero. And this gives us our vector one is equal to one, one. And if you don't see how that works, notice that this matrix times the vector one, one is going to equal just the zero vector because one times one plus negative one times one, that's just equal to zero. So that's vector one. Now let's find eigenvector two. This time we're gonna use eigenvalue two, which is equal to three, and plug it into this equation. So four minus three is one. Uh, we have minus two, we have one, and one minus three is minus two. Cool, they're, they're just, we just have the same row here. I'm just gonna get rid of one. Okay, um, so for this one, our, our eigenvector, we can solve this out. This is going to be, we're gonna say that this column x2 is equal to t. So then x1 minus 2t, if that's equal to zero, then x1 is equal to 2t. And we'll just say that t is equal to one because for these eigenvectors we can, there are uh, an infinite number of them. But if t is equal to one, then our x2 is one, our x1 is two. That's just two, one. And again, you can see, if we multiply this matrix by that vector, we get two minus two equal to zero. So we have our eigenvalues, we have our eigenvectors. Now we can just plug them in and find our e and our d. So where's the best place to write this? I'm gonna write it over here. Um, We'll start with E. This is just the column vectors um, made into a matrix. 
So that's 1, 1, and 2, 1. And for D, that's just our, eigen, our eigenvalues along a diagonal of an otherwise zero matrix. The only thing we have to be careful about is that we do them in the same order, order because here we did B1, B2. We have to make sure we do lambda 1, lambda 2. So lambda 1 is 2, and lambda 2 is 3. Put series there and there. So those are our two, uh, our two matrices. You can try it for yourself and plugging it back in. Um, you can do it by hand or on a calculator. Just E inverse times A times E, and you're going to get this result. Um, so, so that's the solution for our problem.